Scott Tales. Oh. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Scott Tales. My name is Scott Hosteller, and today is summer is coming up, and I am so excited to show you two wonderful tropical drinks that you're going to love. The first one is the Beachcomber. It's from a 1947 Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide, so it goes way back to the classic tiki drinks. The other is the best pina colada you're ever going to taste. This is a secret family recipe that I'm going to share with you. You can have it alcoholic or non-alcoholic. It is just as good either way. But what makes this a more exciting day for me is I get to use, because of tropical drinks and the Caribbean, my pirate voice. So, <clears throat> When I was a kid, uh, I met a real-life pirate. I mean, he had the peg leg and the patch eye and the hook hand, and, and he was just the real deal. And I ran up to him. I said, sir, sir, uh, uh, how did you lose your leg? And he said, well, matey, that's my pirate voice. <clears throat> uh, I was swept overboard during a storm, and a shark bit it off. Oh, my, I said. I'm a, well, how'd you lose your hand? He says, well, let me tell you, I was battling buccaneers who were trying to take over me ship, and then one of them lopped off my hand before I sent him to Davy Jones' locker. I said, oh, crikey. Well, well tell me, how'd, how'd you lose your eye? And he said, a seagull pooped in my eyes. I thought, well, well, how can that make you lose your eyes? He says, well, it was the first day I had my hook. I... <laughs> Let's go to the beachcomber. <laughs> it starts off with three ounces of light rum. Now, the light rum we're going to use is this Don Q. It's a Puerto Rican rum, and it is 80 proof, and uh, we are going to base both drinks are rum-based, as you know with pina coladas. Pina coladas were invented in Puerto Rico, and that is why we're using a Puerto Rico uh, rum. So, three ounces of rum, one and a half ounces of Cointreau, the French uh, orange liqueur, and this is 30 proof, so it's not uh, totally uh, uninvolved in the alcohol content. Oh, let's go with a little bit more because we love it. And then uh, just a splash of cherry brandy or kirsch. That's what we're going to do. There we go. Perfecto. Then half an ounce of lime. Fresh lime juice. Remember, we never use anything but fresh fruit juice. I'm going to lie about that in just a few minutes. Then we shake it up. Let's grab some ice in our freshly washed hands with our freshly washed ice. I just got this ice out of the dryer. That's why it's a little bit smaller than normal. Then we shake. What do we shake for? 15 seconds-ish. So this guy goes into a bar, orders a rum and coke. Bartender says, is Pepsi okay? The guy says, okay. So the bartender brings him his drink, says, here's your Pepsi and Coke. That'll be $12. So I don't go to bars. I stay home and make Scott Tails myself because they're easy and delicious. And here is one that is both for you. This is the Beachcomber. No sand. Let's have a taste. Oh, nice. This is a, a, a tasty twist on a daiquiri, uh, but it does have a higher alcohol content than a zombie, so you got to be careful with them. They could sneak up on you real fast, so be careful with that. The pina colada originated in Puerto Rico in the 1950s. It was very popular until the 70s when bartenders started making it with cheap uh, bottled mixers and these cartoonish glasses. But now it's enjoying a renaissance because of uh, quality ingredients and loving care construction. Um, so we're going to make it today a secret recipe now. It is a family recipe and you've got to swear to... Keep this a secret. So I want everybody to raise your right hand now and swear allegiance. You ready? I, repeat after me, I, state your name, 
Very funny. Very funny. All right, I'll just show you. And you can enjoy it and take credit for exactly how wonderful this is. We're going to start with two ounces. Uh, no, we're going to start with the secret ingredient, which is pineapple juice concentrate. A couple of nice scoops of that. Uh, that is going to give it the oomph and the balance in the bag. Then we're going to have two ounces of, uh, if I find how to open it, creme de, co creme de coconut. Now this is uh, just uh, coconut milk boiled with uh, sugar to make it two ounces. This may take a while. We'll put the hard ones in first. Good enough. And then another one. Squeeze it. I also uh, get to work out my aggressions with that, and we'll just help that along. So now you've got pineapple juice concentrate and uh, creme de coconut in there. Did I say cocoa early? It's creme de coconut. Then we add uh, two ounces of light rum. The same light rum we were pouring earlier, two ounces. Now, again, you don't have to put rum. This is a wonderful treat with or without the rum. One, and there's two. Now, what makes this crazy special is the next ingredient. Ice cream. Two good scoops of kind of softened quality Vanilla ice cream. Yeah, boy. And that's why you can have this with or without alcohol. So, we are going to put that away. And we're going to shake those ingredients. We're going to shake this for about 30 seconds to get it all milked up in there. The rum is acting as the um, emulsifier so that we can make it smooth and frosty. Is anyone counting? Oh, yes. What's the difference between booze and weed? Well, five drunk guys start a fight. Five stone guys start a band. <laughs> Ta-da. Now we're going to take this off. And add, oh, look how thick and frosty that is. And we're going to add a little bit of crushed ice. Now this is going to cool it down just a, just a, just a skosh to make it even more luxurious. Oh, now we hear it. Now you can just go another 15 seconds. What? No more pirate voices. Sorry. Not for the rest of this show. Then we strain into a coupe glass. The, this glass is from Linda McChurch because it is a special glass. Twist, twist, twist. It should be about the consistency of a nice eggnog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then you garnish with a pineapple wedge and a cherry. Sits right on top, isn't that lovely? Let's give this a try. Happy summer. Yes! What can you say? Make this. I mean it, if you don't make any other drinks, make all the other drinks, but, oh. Mm. That is a dessert in itself. So, uh, the IRS suspected this boat owner, a fishing boat owner, of not paying his employees the wages they deserve. And uh, so they came out to investigate, and he came up to the owner and says, Yeah, I need a list of your employees and how much you pay them. Well, the guy says, I pay my deckhand $1,000 a week plus room and board. And he says, Okay. And then the uh, owner says, um, Then there's the mentally challenged guy that works here. Works 18 hours a day. Uh, rain or shine, and uh, he does about 90% of the work, and if he's lucky, he gets about 10 bucks a week. 
He said, well, that's who I want to talk to. I want to talk to the mentally challenged guy. He says, well, you're speaking to him. <laughs> Happy summer, everybody. Remember to drink up because it's almost closing time somewhere. <laughs>